The Circle Maker by Mark Batterson and illustrated by Antonio Javier Caparo. One prayer can change everything. It had not rained in Israel for one entire year. No clouds in the sky, no water in the well. Gardens did not grow, rivers ran dry. Dust filled the air. The people were thirsty and scared. They pleaded with one voice, Oh God, give us rain. But when God didn't answer right away, they lost faith. Our prayers are not working, the people said. God has forgotten us. Then they remembered something, remembered someone. The Rainmaker. Over the years, the people had heard stories of a man whose prayers had gone straight to God's heart, opening up the heavens with rain. Pony was now an old man living on the outskirts of Jerusalem. The people knew that he was their last hope, their only hope. So they knocked on his door and the rainmaker emerged. Honey believed that even if the people could not hear God, God could still hear them. Then he boldly declared, the same God who made the thunder will make it clap. The same God who made the clouds will make them rain. A parade of people led Honey into the city to the Temple Mount. As the crowd grew, children climbed onto the shoulders of their fathers. Others stood on tiptoe to see what Honey would do. That's when it happened. Honey bowed his head and extended his staff to the ground. What is he doing? The people wondered. Then Honey began to turn. He turned all the way around until he stood inside the circle he had drawn. Then, with the hope of the entire nation on his shoulders, Honey dropped to his knees and prayed, Sovereign Lord, I swear before your great name that I will not leave this circle until you send rain. Like water from a well, the words flowed from the depths of his soul. The people watched and waited. Then it happened. A single raindrop fell from the sky, then another. The people turned their heads heavenward. That is not enough water, they grumbled. So little rain is of no use to us. Still kneeling within the circle, Honey continued to pray to God with a humble heart. Not for such rain have I prayed but for rain that will fill cisterns, pits, and caverns. Lightning flashed, and there was a loud clap of thunder. The sprinkle turned into such a downpour that the crowd feared for their lives and fled to higher ground to escape the flash floods. But Honey battled the storm on his knees and continued praying within his circle. Not for such rain have I prayed, but for rain of your favor, blessing, and graciousness. Then, like a cool shower on a hot summer day, it began to rain calmly, peacefully. The people gathered together in celebration they had witnessed a miracle. P 
parents opened their mouths to catch the falling raindrops. Children danced in the downpour like it was the first rainfall they had ever seen. Laughter filled the air. It was the day thunderclaps applauded God. It was the day puddle jumping became an act of praise. It was the day the legend of the circle maker was born. The rainmaker would forever be known as Honey the circle maker. The circle maker had taught the people the power of prayer. The people now understood that one prayer can change anything. One prayer can change everything. From that day forth, when the people needed a miracle, they would draw a circle and pray just like Honey. They circled the sick. They circled the sad. They circled the young. They circled the old. They circled their biggest dreams. They circled their greatest fears. And most importantly, they circled the promises of God. Sometimes they had to pray for a long, long time, but they never again doubted the fact that God always hears. And if our prayers glorify God, God always answers Everyone who witnessed the miracle that day learned a lesson they would never forget. God honors bold prayers because bold prayers honor God.